What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Brickell here with a new video for you. In today's video, I'm just working on some designs as usual. If you are interested in all things sewing, fashion, and design, please hit subscribe because this channel is made for you. Now, let's go ahead and get in, in today's video. So, as I mentioned before in previous videos, I have a ton of different scraps of fabric and you know, a couple yardage left of other fabrics that I would love to use up before I get new fabrics and make a new collection. So as of right now, I am working on this little, ignore this one, I'm working on this little tank top corset design idea. I have this fabric, I've already kind of cut it up, but I have like this printed fabric that I got forever ago and I haven't used it. So I decide I'm going to make this corset kind of tank top. I just wanted something super comfortable and cute for summertime. And then this is just a very summery print, I feel like. So this is what I have so far. I just need to fix the straps. I did a fitting on myself. And then I'm going to sew in some bust cups. And then it has a zipper in the back. So yeah, this video, I'm just making some products. And I also have a ton of brie work that I'm working on as well. I have this old cute little bow dress that I made into a sh like a little crop top shirt. I will show you guys. So yeah, come with me just making some more designs and making room for some new products. So let's get into it. All right, here is the current design I am working on. Here's just a quick little sketch that I thought of. I want to use this old printed fabric that I got a while ago. And then here is what I have so far. I already went ahead and um, draped on the pattern on my dress form. As you see right here, I marked it with my draping tape. And then I already did a fitting and because I haven't used a muslin yet, because usually when you make a pattern, you, you know, do a sample muslin fit, I just decided to go right into it. Um, now, because I haven't done that, I, I went ahead and did a fitting. So, like, up here, as you see, the seam allowance got bigger, and then down here, it got smaller. So, now, I need to modify my pattern here and fix it because I'm going to cut out the lining and now make a pattern for the lining and then sew on the lining and it's pretty much done. Now as I'm modifying my pattern, all I am doing is, you know, measuring out what changes I've made and where at and then moving it on my pattern. So as you see here, um, you know, however high up this little mark is and then from here quarter of an inch and then I fix the line and then later I'll add on more you can add on more paper to make a bigger seam allowance or you can just you know retrace again and make a new pattern ahead and sewed the lining and the front together and I just decided I don't really like how the sweetheart is turning out so I fit it to me and I'm going to make it a little bit more curved like it is in the drawing so see how it goes all right you guys here is the last fitting with this top I'm pretty much done I just need to go ahead and sew the hem and then fix the zipper in the back. Other than that, yeah, it's done. So I will go ahead and go on to the next design. All right, here is the finished design. As you see here, I got princess seams. And then if you look closely on these straps, I have this little gathered detailing. And then yeah, just the back is pretty much the same with the princess seams. 
and then I have a hook and eye on top as well so yeah this one is good to go it also has built-in cups so that way you don't have to show your bra straps and yeah super comfy I love it now it's time for the next design Pran you good you good Pran you're in my bag of scraps you good 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 yeah? Yeah, you good? You good? You good? Say yeah? You good? You good, Brent? Yeah? You good, Brent? Good, Brent? Good, Princess? You good? Yeah? Yeah? Mm, big yawn. Big yawn, print. All right, this whole thing. I've been organizing it. All the leftover fabric in here is going to be made out of all designs, leftover fabric, all right here. This big box is rework pieces. And then all the new fabric's gonna go on the bolts. And then this is my scrap pile. The princess found a napping spot. Okay, so when I'm talking about scraps, I want to show you guys with what I'm working with. I completely organized my little office, my little sewing room that I have here. I moved the Juki right there, and then my pattern making table's right here. Princess is, is over there napping on her cute little panda pillow. Anyway, and then over here, this box right here are different clothing brands that I don't wear anymore. I would love to rework into my own creations. And then right there is just the empty bolts that I would love to keep to get the, to get ready for the new fabrics and new collections. And then right here is just from old previous fabrics from previous collections. Now these pieces will be one of one pieces because it is what is left over. I just wanted to, you know, use up everything that I have and get ready for the new chapters. So yeah, I'm excited. The next project, I am going to do some rework from this old dress I used to wear all the time. I love the print, I love the bows. I'm thinking I'm going to remake it into my crop top design from my 2022 spring collection. I'll add a link up above if you'd like to see that show as well. Here is the finished design. It turned out so great, so comfortable. I absolutely love it. I used some white ribbon to match the bow print and I used some designer Brickell's tags as little ribbon loops so I am able to tie it around my waist. Here's the next sketch that I am working on. I was thinking just kind of like a one piece with a little sw hoodie sweater over it and I want to make it out of this mesh fabric. I got this fabric when I worked at Joann's I had one of my friends give me this fabric that she didn't want anymore and I still haven't even used it. And then, of course, I'm going to use the leftover white scuba that I made the men's pants out of and shorts. But the white scuba is going to be, you know, parts that are covered. So it'll be these two fabrics, I'm thinking. I went ahead and I used my drape tape again to kind of mark out the measurements where I need to make the design. So now, the next step is to drape the pattern. All right, I went ahead and I draped my pattern. Now I use some old bed sheets. I'll get more muslin later. But my process on draping it on the dress form is because this design is going to be made out of knitwear fabric. I don't want or need any darts. So my process was I cut along, you know, the bust line and then 
down this princess seam line and then added a piece of fabric and then sewed it on to lay it flat. So now I will trace this to get my accurate pattern pieces. So here's like the bottom as well. This is the front and this is the back. Yeah, we'll see how it goes and my cute little print print is napping. All right, you guys, I went ahead and I finished this design. I apologize I didn't get much video of me creating this piece, but I was just way too focused and I had a lot of fun making this. So what it is, it's this like mesh white fabric that I explained I got from a friend forever ago. So I made a little kind of crop top hoodie and then the piece underneath is a onesie made out of white scuba neoprene and then it has this piece in the middle that's the same as this white mesh that I made out of the hoodie and then you can snap it closed at the bottom but let me go ahead and show you the back on how it turned out <laughs> And there's the back. I am now going to make more of these little crop top mesh hoodies. I also love the little detailing that I put little grommets in. And then I stitched all the way around the hoodie as like a little tunnel. So that way you can put like ribbon or the strings through the hoodie. But now I'm going to go ahead and make more of these little hoodies. I have some other navy mesh that I'm going to use. So yeah, so excited. This turned out so great. I'm going to send it to a few people and see what they think. Okay guys, so I've gone through a couple of designs at this point. I'm going to do one last design for this video. I am making another little kind of crop top hoodie I made the pattern out of with the one piece. I'm really liking that hoodie. I feel like that's something that's in style and that you guys might like. Please comment down below. Are we liking those kind of hoodies? If so, I'll make them... I'll make them more often and more available on the website, but the last scrap that I have available is this kind of black, I oh, don't know if you can see, it's like a black rayon shimmery fabric, Little has like a little bit of sparkles in it. I use it as like a little like hood scarf for my spring collection 2021. I'll put the show up here if you want to see that, but I am just going to go ahead and make a little hoodie out of that. I feel like these hoodies are like comfortable for summertime as well. I personally don't really like being in the sun that much. Like I love the sun, I just don't like getting sunburnt. So I want to wear something that's a little bit more like comfortable that will kind of like me from getting sunburned but anyway i feel like those designs are perfect or those hoodies are perfect for like summertime and then maybe for winter time i could always get like a warmer fabric to make them out of but again let me comment down below are we liking those kind of hoodies if so i will make them available on the site and yeah anyway i hope you guys are enjoying this video again these are just like little daily vlogs on what I'm up to and how the business is going. So if there's something that you guys want me to make you, comment down below, please let me know. If you are interested in all things sewing, fashion, and design, again, please hit subscribe. I also have more interviews coming up as well that I'm scheduling for a couple people that have been inspiring me and I feel like they will inspire you too. And yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just going to continue sewing this last design and yeah, it's going to be great. I'm excited for it.
Now for a quick break, I just want to let you guys know I have men's pieces available on the site. Use discount code SUMMER23 for 20% off for watching this. All items are locally designed and sewn in the United States. Shop pay is now available, so if you'd like to make payments and in increments, you can do that interest-free. Link in the description. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so I'm working on the black hoodie crop top, and I have the hoodie made, as you see right here. A little tip and trick that I want to show you guys is if you ever want to put eyelets, so my eyelet punching thing, and I'm going to put a grommet eyelet in. But what I wanted to teach you guys is if you are ever wanting to put eyelets or grommet in some knit fabrics, it's pretty stretchy. What you actually want to do is put some interfacing, sew a square, you see right here, and then you can kind of clip a hole in. This helps prevent the eyelet from slipping out because if you were, if I were to just punch this without doing that, then eventually throughout time or right away, the eyelet will come out. So again, just put some interfacing, I put some knit interfacing and then I sewed in a little um, square and then cut out a hole. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and place the front of my grommet inside like this and then put the back in like this and then I'm going to use my little punching hole down on it and there we go now I can stretch it without having it to pop out or come undone so I'm gonna go ahead and finish sewing this and then I'll sew the other side of Oh, I'll put another grommet in so that way I can have the little um, strings. Well, I'm going to put ribbon through it so that way you can make the hood tighter or looser. But I'm really excited with how this hoodie is coming to place. What I did since I didn't have enough fabric for the hoodie, I just cut out the sleeves and um, front and back. But for the hoodie, I have the little hood scarves from my previous collection, which I'll like kind of put up here if you want to check it out. I decided to use two, I made three little like hoodie scarves and out of the two, I went ahead and sewed it. So this is like double layered on the inside, it's very soft and rayon. And then on the outside is more of the shiny side of the fabric. So it's like very, very soft, let me show you. So. I don't know, this is gonna, I feel like this is gonna turn out really good. I'm really excited, so, so far, so good.
Okay, I went ahead and I finished my little black hoodie. I want to show you. I went ahead and added my strings in. I decided the ribbon, I put ribbon in it, but it just made it look kind of cheap. So I just decided to add strings instead. This is how it turned out. And then for the wristband, this is scuba. But once you get in the right lighting, it shimmers. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I think it turned out really cute. And then here's the hood. It goes down pretty far. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Again, if you're interested in all things sewing, fashion, and design, please hit subscribe. Comment down below, are we liking these little kind of more crop top hoodies? This fabric is going to be so comfortable for the summertime because it's not like a hot fabric. It's really soft on the inside, so I'm excited to test this out in the summer heat. But yeah, anyway, let me know if you guys are liking these hoodies. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.